Hello, hello, and welcome back. Actually, there was one dude that wanted to news interview me, and I, he, he might pop on my channel, I don't know, hit or miss, but come on guys, it's not that hard to have a beautiful country with less environmental pollutants and fires and natural disasters taking place. Now, a leader can be, be a leader, meaning in charge of uh, shit like that. I mean, what happened on 9-11 has everything to do with the commander-in-chief, flat out. I mean, of course he's going to want our country to be a, a rock-hard shield against its foes and enemies. And corruption, of course, that's natural. That's what the, that's what a leader should do, protect them. Like if someone's gonna come and punch you, you're not just gonna let them hit you in the face. You're gonna take your arm and you're gonna block them. That's human nature. I mean, I by the way, I like to do these three video things A, B, and C. I try to be easy and specific and straightforward and simple in what I say. I try to be easy to understand. Like, I try to come at you in an easy to understand manner and method. Like, I don't want to be act confused and I don't, I'm not here to create enemies. I'm not here to feed the trolls. I'm not here to fuss with my haters and I'm not here to uh, play like kid games and battle with you guys. I'm not here to, you know, to produce tension. I'm not that's not what I'm here for. Uh, I'm not here to argue with anybody or faceless trolls. I'm not here to do that. You're not n not everyone's going to like you. That's just life. That's life. Um people are going to uh, people always are going to have something whether it be one thing, whether it be this, whether it be that. They're always going to have hold something against you negatively speaking but I mean it's just me it is my perspective on things is how I how I take a glance how I sit back and I observe things and I'm like well this is this is this isn't work this isn't right this is not right religion always doesn't work just take a, a self-reflection inventory sit back reflect retrospect it doesn't always work praying doesn't work all the time I, you know miracles might or might not be real I don't believe in luck I mean I believe in evil I believe in the Ouija board I believe in ghosts I believe in spirits I mean I believe in afterlife I mean but the thing is I just don't, I don't know, man. We don't need organized religion. We don't need, we need, I mean, I agree with, I mean, school is what, like public funding and school and private schools. That's for kids, you know, to educate the bread, grow up, become, you know, productive leaders in the community. Okay, I get this. There's nothing wrong with that. But on the other hand, there's nothing wrong with homeschooling either. There's nothing wrong with kids having the ability to make their own decisions. Because guess what? Kids aren't dumb and they're not immature like most people think they are. Children are very smart. Most of them. Just because I had a learning disability and I had a low IQ when I was a kid doesn't mean nothing. I'm not your average I'm not your average person. I'm not your average typical person or human being. I'm way in a different plateau or a different, I don't know, zone or world. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm in like in Jupiter. Not, I'm not on Earth or some shit like that. I don't know. I'm a deep, I'm a deep motherfucker. I, I think about a lot of shit, and I, I, I always have all my life. I, I made over, I remember one time when I was like 11 or 12, I, I had like, I hadn't been no more than 13, I had like, I, I ain't gonna lie, shit, you know, I had like 24 different 
melodies or tunes on the piano I made up. I, I didn't even know how to read music. Can I do it now? No, I can't do it now. I can't duplicate it. But when I was young, I could do it. I tried, and I hours on end, hours and hours. You know, religiously, I just sit at the piano all the time. And then it was basketball. I, I treated basketball the same way, and I became good at basketball. Now I'm not that healthy, and I'm old, older, and shit ain't the same. I, I really don't have no hobbies. I think about politics, though. You know, politics, man. I don't read. I don't like books. I don't really read. You know, I don't travel. I'm not cultured, per se. But I know a few things. I mean, I'm not exactly stupid. I know that our country ain't on the right, going in the right, you know, headed the right way. And it needs a little, um, need, you know, look, firing people like, like, like Trump, like he bragged, oh, he was like, oh, in Texas, I'm going to have the biggest crowd trying to boast about that. I'm like, what, oh, man, there's always going to be someone better than you. He thinks he's like the best cat that ever walked in, on the block. Bullshit. There's always going to be someone bigger, better, have better, be have bigger muscles or more money. There's always going to be that way. Always someone that's going to be better than you. He thinks he's like the best, the best person that ever stepped foot in America. He's 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 totally arrogant. He's ego ego freak. This is the thing here. This is what I'm trying to say. You know. You know. Don't. You know, don't uh, spit more than you can chew or some saying like that. Don't I forget the saying. But apparently he don't care. He he thinks, oh, he's the best, the best thing, the next best thing, the next. Look, the other dude had more people show up in Texas than he had to show up in Texas. You know, that's the moral of the story. You're not, you're not trying to impress nobody. I mean, he's trying to. You know, like, that's the problem. You know, we got a, a joke for a president, basically. I mean, that's what I think. He's delusional to a point. I mean, we don't, why would we want a, a racist uh, bigot, you know, and, you know, doing shady shit, you know, doing fuck shit? We don't, we don't need that. We don't need people doing fuck shit fuckery. You know, we don't need that in our country. We have enough going on. Why would we need extra crap on top of that? You know, we don't need one mess to the next. We don't need that shit. We need uh, direction and we need a change and we need um, action to happen. That's all, you know. Uh, you know, one foot in front of the other, you know. Yeah, you got to keep on keeping on with the program. You can't let up, you know. I mean, in a way, I don't even feel sorry for him. I mean, I don't really even feel sorry for him, for real. President, it's like, I don't know. i got to finish this swill swill. I don't know. Let me, let me give me you guys' out, uh, views and whatever, outtakes and criticize me if you want, I don't even care, constructive criticism, I don't even care, whatever, whatever you say, I'm not even really going to take to heart, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly thin-skinned, I'm pretty thick-skinned, so, well, thanks for watching. If I could run politically, I would, but I don't have the power or the tools or the resources to do it. If I could, I would try to, but I don't have the strength. I don't have the power and the pull to do that. You know, I don't have connections. It's not what you know; it's who you know. And I don't, I don't know very much. But if, but believe me, if I had the chance to improve even a little, even a little way, like I would, you know. I'd boost this nation. I'd boost this country so much. They would put other. It would make other countries jealous of us if I was the one, in, you know, in charge. 
Alright guys, later.